guys so in this video let us look at this uh, tablet here propranolol this is called as indrol 40 40 mg of propranolol in each tablet right so this one is uh, propranolol you can see here propranolol 40 mg it contains so you will get like this indrol 20 you will get indrol 40 you will the cost of this you can see around 54 rupees this is the 40 mg one but even the 20 mg one is same uh, cost only. just look at this tablet one of them i'm opening them i mean they're not giving the drug name they're giving the brand name interal 40 it says here you can see right so this is propranolol 40 mg and propranolol uh, let me also taste this and see not a that bad taste it's not that bad a taste let's divide this in half and see because it looks divisible <laughs> divisible by two because of that line so if i need a 20 mg i i would rather you know buy 40 and divide half half if possible exact i couldn't divide okay so if somebody says take propranolol 20 mg you can take half okay so this is uh indral 40 that is propranolol okay now let's learn about propranolol that was the promise right so propranolol is what it is a beta blocker very good guys that much you know so it is a first generation beta adrenergic blocking drug so it is here propranolol which is we use it why for anxiety if people have anxiety we give it right uh, what will it do it will reduce heart rate it will reduce the adrenergic uh, effect okay so it should calm anxiety anti-anxiety it should do okay so in beta adrenergic blocking drugs which are um, non-selective it is not uh, beta 1 or beta 2 it is both so both it will block right beta 1 and beta 2 so it's propranolol what is isa intrinsic sympathomimetic activity without intrinsic sympathomimetic activity okay so what i should know about this it is anti-anxiety it is a beta blocker it is anti-anxiety right so if there somebody has palpitations they feel their heart is beating they have some restlessness and all you can give this let us look at other classifications guys where uh, this um, this drug where did it go hello propranolol where are you here okay indral 40 this is propranolol we are here to learn about propranolol so where will you, will you find it in anti-anxiety drugs so if somebody has palpitations restlessness etc so beta adrenergic blocker propranolol it comes as indral okay uh, the dose so here you can see the oral is 10 mg bd so you can give 160 mg qid also okay so that is the maximum um, i think you can give okay 160 mg per day average okay start with low dose and gradually increase according to need iv also is available okay so here we are talking about this indral right okay so one more classification this is there guys this uh, tablet here that you see here oops indral that is propranolol let us look at the third classification that is it is listed in is anti-arrhythmic drugs that means it will reduce your heart rate uh, means if your heart rhythm is not proper right anti-arrhythmic drugs so here is propranolol class 2 ad anti-adrenergic agents class 1 is this class 2 it is coming in okay anti-arrhythmia so if somebody has uh, hyperthyroidism and they have this increased heart rate anxiety and all they are talking about propranolol okay also in migraine profile access it should be there wait let's go to migraine drugs and see so if you are taking propranolol for um, let us say any reason it will also prevent migraine attacks okay so you can use propranolol or other beta blockers also you can use to prevent migraine so you should it's not when you get migraine you should take this when you when if you take it you will not get that uh, migraine attack you understood guys so this is prevention of migraine okay so why did they uh, why did the doctor ask you to take this propranolol for anxiety for uh, for uh, arrhythmia for uh, hypertension hyperthyroidism or migraine what, for what did they actually prescribe for you 
okay so now let's move on guys uh, we have to learn more about uh, propranolol so this is how propranolol looks there is one more uh, okay propranolol you can just see uh, how it looks it makes no difference to us uh, we are not learning the structure right but let us now scroll down and look at the uh, adverse effects and contraindications where are you where are you why 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 go back here. Okay. adverse effects and contraindication of propranolol guys focus here propranolol has many adverse effects they are mild but okay you should not give in asthma patients very important because it's a beta blocker right so that is very very important what is very very important you should not give this to whom beta blockers to asthma patients very good very good okay so now let us look at this propranolol uh, can accentuate myocardial insufficiency it can precipitate congestive heart failure is it okay edema okay I will move this. Something it can do to the heart. Bradycardia, it will reduce the heart rate. That's why you are giving it. So, side effect, if somebody asks you, you will say what? Bradycardia, you are giving it only to treat palpitations and all that. To reduce uh, heart rate. So, obviously, it will reduce heart rate. Okay, this is its work, its job it's doing. It can worsen lung disease. We told you asthma, 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 asthma. You should not give it. It's contraindicated, contraindicated in asthmatics. Okay, then. Are you with us, guys? Let's move on to the fourth um, uh, uh, side effect that the textbook is talking about uh, vasospastic exacerbates vasospastic angina something to do with the heart again now let's move on if you should avoid it in diabetics it's saying okay we will avoid it in diabetics because it can have a risk of hypoglycemic episodes okay it can cause hypoglycemia in diabetics okay it is better avoided in diabetics if you take long term, then uh, lipid profile can get altered. Okay. So, long term if you are taking. So, don't take long term. Okay. Unless you have been told to. If you have migraine and all, you have to take guys. Yeah. Long term. What else you will do? You will have to take some other preventive drug then. Okay guys. Just be aware of these. Uh, okay. Then we are going to the seventh one. Withdrawal. You should not do suddenly. That we will uh, take care of that then. Um, heart. 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 Just saying heart. Okay. Then tiredness due to increase okay reduced blood flow to muscles is it cold hands and feet may be noticed because it is having uh, vasoconstriction kind of effect blockade of vasodilator it is saying so Peripheral vascular disease and all if you give and if you give if they have peripheral vascular disease that means to see these fingertips it anyways it will not reach the blood in those people because they have peripheral vascular disease in that if you give propranolol then there will be uh, that uh, vasoconstriction kind of thing so here it it will this uh, the cold hands and feet will be in uh, that feeling will increase okay did you understand okay then uh, last one here 11th one side effects not overtly due to beta blockade are uh, some some small small things not exactly due to beta blockade but some other uh, uh, causes lead to these side effects okay sexual distress in male patients depression okay that's all guys in this video we have covered what propranolol that is uh, this tablet okay